Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. America, thank you for acknowledging the atrocity committed against me by the Nigerian government and that of Kenya. Onye is saying, yes. The leader of the IPOB, Mazda Mukano, said he's, he's happy and he's expressing his gratitude to the American government, the United States government, for publicly acknowledging, yes, the evil committed against him. Yes, that is the, the government of Nigeria and that of Kenya that violated his fundamental human rights. The U.S. has come out and said, yes, it is true that his right were violated by this government in their brutal abduction and, you know, very annoying extraordinary rendition. Yes, criminal extraordinary rendition and continued incarceration. Yes. Now, the leader of the IPOB said he's I know, actually very appreciative of the U.S. government for the action. Yes, you recall that the U.S. government actually made their reports public. What they, they said, they captioned it, 2023 Country Reports on Human Rights Practices, Nigeria, where the U.S. US government Publication acknowledged that Nigeria's secret police had violated Onyendu's rights during his abduction and extraordinary rendition. Yes, and that Mazam Khan was a victim of arbitrary arrest in June 2021. You have seen it. So Mazam Khan, through his lawyers, they, 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 they wrote to the U.S. and said, We are thanking you, if not for any other thing, for acknowledging this one. Yes, you are a very powerful country in the world, the U.S. You are a powerful country in the world. And for you to come and say, look, Nigeria, you committed evil against the leader of the IPOB. Thank you for this, you know, understanding. Thank you. Yes, that's what Onyendu is saying. His legal team actually portraying it. Yes, what they are saying, quote, it needs to be emphasized that this laudable position, which the U.S. has waited for almost three years to take and make public, is surely well considered and thus important for two reasons. First, it affirms the case in chief we have adduced since June 2021 that Khan was unlawfully renditioned, not lawfully extradited. And these are two opposite concepts that bear the similar legal implications. The second reason was that it is expected that coming from a respected and influential foreign power like the US, this public acknowledgement will likely encourage the government of Nigeria to also acknowledge that it had gravely violated Kano's inalienable human rights by subjecting him to a horrendous, extraordinary rendition. To be sure, one way the government of Nigeria can come clean and acknowledge this egregious wrong done to Kano is to banish any further temptations to impunity and summon his powers and discretions under the constitution to bring his prosecution to a close without further ado. And of course, yes, that is it. So. That's the only way. They have to banish any further temptations to impunity. Yes. And someone is powers as the government, the central government of Nigeria. Yes. So, and someone that's, um, and uh, make sure that this issue, talking about the prosecution of Mazam Kano, is brought to end to an end. Yes. With that much ado. Yes. So that is it. They have to summon their powers 
and end this matter now. That's the only way forward from what the U.S. have said. Yes. So the U.S. government, Mazin Amkan said, is appreciative. He's thanking you for acknowledging this one. Yes, though it's about over three years now. Yes, it took the U.S. three years to actually, you know, publish this report. Yes, but he said he's grateful that even at last you have done it. You have shown Nigeria government that what he, what Mazam Khan has been saying about his right be trampled upon by Malami and his cohorts during the era of uh, the header. Yes. So, but the most agonizing part of it is the fact that someone inherited this abracadabra. Someone inherited this uh, evil. And he's continuing with it. So, what does it show? Yes. You inherited this kind of situation. And the best thing for you to do is to correct the error or the anomalies. To prove that you actually you have come to, you know, change the old SOA narratives. But in continuing in that regard, he's doing the same thing that his uh, predecessor did. You have seen it. And we have been talking about these things. Oh, you, the previous administration have been saying, Mazam Khan has been, was lambasting and been saying a lot of things against the, the then president. The then president. Yes, his offenses. They were really not. And said, oh, he was saying many things against the president. Against his person, not the government. That's what they were saying then. Now, this man that is still detaining Mazam Khan, that is still keeping him illegally, we're asking whether Mazam Khan said anything against him. Okay? We're talking about personally now, personally. Because that man took it personal. The former president took it personal and said he was talking, he was, you know, saying many things against him that were unfounded. Right? So, but this man now we're talking about who is occupying that seat. What's the claim? What is his own offense? Uh, what's the offense of Mazam against him? Okay? So, all these things we have been saying it. The U.S. government have outlined them and the Mazam Khan said he's grateful for the government of the United States of America for coming out and saying, government, you are wrong. Nigerian government, you are wrong. That's not how to do things. You have to, yeah, there's a legal procedure to follow. But you see the British government, this man is their citizen. They use to tape to tape them out because of something they are getting from Nigeria. That's why this British government, they used to